What's going on YouTube? Jaws from Fusion Athletics here, showing you guys a great video on today's topic of discussion, progressive overload. Bam. So let's get started. Uh, one thing that I want to point out is progressive overload is applied without you probably even knowing of it. But if you do have an understanding of what progressive overload means from the beginning of your training, you're going to make that much more progress moving forward with your goal. So what is progressive overload? Um, essentially, it's a principle that you apply within your training that allows you to continually get stronger, continually get bigger, and also uh, avoid any plateaus along the way. So you're gonna be making all kinds of gains. All kinds. So the one thing you wanna keep in mind is uh, progressive overload is applied to three different variables, okay? You can manipulate three variables to allow yourself to continue to progress uh, and continue to grow. First is volume, so the amount of repetitions that you do. Two is uh, intensity, and three is frequency. So those are the three variables you can manipulate in, within your training to allow yourself to continually see growth within the training that you're doing. Um, I would say ideally, you wanna be prioritizing frequency as uh, the main component of progressive overload so that you can target each of the main compound movements more frequently throughout the week, training each of the muscle groups in your body more frequently throughout the week. So this can be, um, you know, minimum two times a week would be my personal recommendation. I'm currently running an upper body, lower body split, training each of the main compound movements at each muscle group three times a week uh, with an arms day as a rest day or an active rest day. And I personally find I'm properly recovering with this kind of volume and frequency. Uh, of course, you have to build up to it. That's what the whole idea behind progressive overload is. So you start off with a starting point, and that's the starting point volume that you normally uh, train with. And then for you to see continual growth, you have to add to that, either adding in volume of reps, either adding in, adding an additional arm day or additional chest day, back day, leg day, whatever, uh, or add in uh, intensity, so adding weight over time. The one big mistake I see most people do, um, especially if they're trying to make strength gains and muscle gains is they choose to add weight and they choose to add weight only. So they go in the gym, they add weight to the bar when they're deadlifting, go for all out one rep max, every single deadlift session, burning themselves out, burning the nervous system out and not allowing themselves to properly adapt, recover and grow. So uh, that is the one mistake I made personally back in my day. Uh, it is essentially a form of ego lifting, just going in there and bashing out the weights as best you can. But didn't have an idea of how to progress from that point on. I hit, I think, 495 pound deadlift and I plateaued from that point on. Once I figured out how to properly structure a workout based on percentages of the one rep max, based on how much volume uh, I can accumulate without, you know, overtraining essentially, and allowing myself to un understand how to progress it, but taking the appropriate progression without rushing it, was able to give me that much more results. So, uh, let me give you guys certain examples that you guys can apply in your training so that you can uh, utilize uh, progressive overload and understand how to do that. So for example, let's say for uh, volume training, uh, what you can do, let's say for me, if I'm benching, let's say 225 for three sets of eight, uh, one month and next month, you wanna go for the same thing, 225 for three sets of 10 with the same form and technique, that is a form of progressive overload. And I'm not saying that it has to be done on a monthly basis, it can also be done on a weekly basis. Week one, you do three sets of seven on 225, week two, three sets of eight, week three, three sets of nine, etc. Or you can go with intensity. So what intensity entails, uh, I have a starting point for my first initial week, and what I tend to do, I have that starting point weight and I add maybe five to 10 pounds the following week for my for my lift, five to 10 pounds for the following week or five to 10 pounds for the following week. That is one way for you to apply intensity progressive overload. The idea is you guys don't wanna burn yourself out. You don't wanna do too much at once. You wanna slowly build up the volume so your body adapts, recovers, and then grows. But if you apply that, if you don't do, uh, you know, ego lift, you're gonna be able to make gains. Okay, 
So that is my explanation description of how to apply progressive overload. Hope you enjoyed the content. We're going to be posting a lot more quality videos for you guys coming soon. If you guys like our content, make sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Stay posted, guys. The schedule.